everyone and welcome back to the course with everything you need to become profitable in the stock market. So this video is going to be amazing because now we're going to be looking at the charting software. Woo! Right? So the charting software, remember, we have the broker. We've set that up. That's where we place the trades. But the charting software, which is TradingView, that's where you do all your analysis. So let's go to the flip chart here because I'm going to show you what that means. So we're going to be using... So trading yeah, view.com. This is what we're gonna be using. And what this what this is, right? You have this is gonna what it's gonna look like. I just want to give you a visual here first before we move on to the real deal. It's completely free to use. You can make a note of that, it's free. They're gonna ask you to sign up and to pay, but you don't need to. So create a free account, that is important. And then it's going to look like this, right? It's going to be kind of a square like this. In the middle, you will have the graph, right? And down here, you will have the timelines. You will have all the dates. And then on this side, you will then have, you guessed it, the price. So maybe it says, you know, $10, 8, uh, 6, etc. And here it's January. Feb, etc., etc., and then you will have the price moving. So when you hover on any particular point, like this maybe, so when these intersect, that's where you get the price on a specific date. Does that make sense? So on here we do the analysis and what you will do with that information then when you think, now it's time to buy, Dennis, well, great. Then you go to, you say it, write it down in the comments before I say it, Yes, it's the broker. So you write it down and you, you, you just take the information from here and you get in, into your broker and you place the trade and enter it. So I hope that makes sense for you. It's going to be very exciting. So, because in this video we're going to be learning then exactly how you do the analysis. How do you use that tool? And in the coming videos we'll show you how you then place the trades, okay? So that is very, very exciting. So let's go over to the screen. And I want to show you how you actually do this. So you go to tradingview.com. Now you can go to the UK site, you can go to the Swedish site, you choose. But look at this as kind of a Facebook for analysis. There's loads of things you can do here. You can find ideas from other traders. What are they looking at? You can follow me, for example. But then what you got to do is... Uh, and there's loads of things. This is chart, it's markets, there's loads of things, but I'm just going to show you what you need to know. So up in the top right corner, you then press create an account. So it will look like this for you. Start free trial. You don't need to do that. All you need to do is to press sign in. So let's press sign in or sign up for that matter. You have that all the way down here. So when you sign up, you, all, you only need to sign up with Google, you can sign up in an email, it's a very simple process. So just go through that, you have your email, a username, and then the password, you confirm it in your email, and then you're in. So what we're going to do, we're just going to sign in uh, with email, I think, and let's see, saved, yep, and then press sign in. Because the benefits of signing in, even though the account is free, is that, is that all your drawings, all your analysis gets saved. You heard that correctly, it gets saved. And they have an app on your phone as well, so you can just download it to your phone. So I hope that excites you because it really does, right? It's a free software. And look, don't tell Marcus this, but I have no clue how they managed, or how he managed before we got all of these amazing tools. So what we're going to go then, when you have logged in, is to where it says chart in the top left corner here. And just press chart. So when you press that, it's going to take you, well, to the charts. So we're going to be looking at Apple. So the first thing you can do here, and maybe it looks quite interesting now, because now you will be seeing here, you will be seeing here exactly what we spoke about. You have the dates down here and you have the price on the left hand side here and then you have a menu at the top here i'm not going to go through everything in too much detail i'm just going to go through what you basically what you need to know 
So if you have a look here in the top left corner, you can then search for whatever ticker you want to search for, or whatever company. So if you search for Apple, you see you get a million alternatives. And choose the one which is the US one, because you have, a, you have an American flag, and you have a flag from um, Argentina, from Germany, etc., etc. So make sure, this is a rule of thumb, choose the ticker, or the a ticker is just a short of the company. So instead of writing Microsoft, you write MSFT, that's just a short for Microsoft. So with Apple, choose the, 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 uh, the ticker or choose the flag where the company is from. So, so for, for, um, for Apple, you choose the US flag, right? Does it make sense? It's a US company, you choose the US flag. So then when we press on that, what you will see here, boom, is that we get the chart in front of us. In the next video, we'll go through with all these candlesticks, how you read that information. But for now, we're opening this. I'm going to show you how to use it a little bit as well. So when you have this in front of you now, you've searched for the ticker. Make sure this one always is on daily. That means that every single candle here represents one day. You can get it down to a minute or a month. You choose, but we usually do one day. So write that down as well, always one day. And then if you then hover your mouse here, you can try to play around with it. If you left click and hold, you can pull back and forth. With Mac, I think it's two fingers maybe, not sure. But uh, you press down and you move it back and forth. You can even back, move it up and down. If you find that difficult, and then if you kind of scroll with two, with two fingers, you zoom out, and when you scroll the other way, you screw, you um, zoom in. But if you go all the way down on the page here, you can then find these buttons here, okay? And you press zoom out, that's this the minus sign, the plus sign is zoom in, and then you have arrows, move to the left, and then you have an arrow, move to the right. And then the last thing you can do to move here is to go down to where it's in the date, you get this funny looking arrow, you left click and hold and you can pull it, you can make it bigger and you can make it smaller. And on the right hand side, you here can do the same with the price. So you can make it smaller and bigger. So you can really format it to whatever you would like to do. And you see there's a lot of other tools here, but I want to keep it simple, right? I hope you love to keep it simple too, because we absolutely love to keep things, things uh, simple. So I hope you do that too. So uh, let's go back here and have a look because the menu I want you to have a look at is the one to the left here. And your chart, by the way, might, might look a little bit different. For some of you, you might have the volume down here. And you can always go up if you have a lot of indicators and stuff up here. You can always hide them. Press the eyeball. And then you hide them to clean up your chart a little bit. And in the menu to the left now, you will find there's different parts there. I will go to the second one, which is just the kind of the trend line tool. And if you go to it, and it's a small little arrow on the right hand side, you can press on it, you get a whole menu with different tools to use. And the one we're going to use is the horizontal line, all right? Then you can play around with the rest, but press on the horizontal one, and then when you press anywhere on the chart, you're then putting a trend line on there. And after that, you can then, if you pull this up, uh, you see that there's a menu here where you can actually choose color if you want to, well, you know what, Dennis, I like blue. Well, I'm a bit colorblind, actually. That's not blue, that's green, is it? Or yellow. I'm, a, I'm actually a little bit colorblind, so just proves you don't need to know all the colors in order to be successful at trading, which is a good thing. So here, now you can put, put that wherever you like. You say, well, where do I put it? Well, we're going to get to that, obviously. So what we need to do now basically is to learn what are candlesticks, what strategies do you use. But for now, now play around with it, try the other tools, but that's kind of the basics around TradingView. And that's what I would like you to do right now. You have to play around with it and learn with it. And if you would like to have consultation, like you, you feel like, oh, I want to have some more hand-holding, Dennis, I want to really have help from you. Make sure you press the link and we'll support you in the best way we can and you can get access to your trading club where we really, we're a family, right? And we help you all along your journey as we do here on YouTube as well. So if you like what you're seeing, please press subscribe and also don't forget to press the like button and uh, comment below, are you using TradingView today? How are you analyzing the stocks today? And how do you know which stocks to buy? 
Alright, so comment below and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next videos where we will cover not only how you use candlesticks but also the actual strategies. So have an amazing, amazing day or evening depending on when you're watching this or maybe morning. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.